Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kevin Novak again. A couple videos ago, I told everybody I was going to do an experiment with polyfilters. I'm sure everybody's seen polyfilters in your local store. They sell them on the internet. And what you're looking at is a polyfilter. They come in two different sizes. They come in a 12 by 12 mat and I think an 8 by 4 mat. 12 by 12 mat full retail price is $42.95 and in my pre-filter here this 2215 about six inches in diameter I can make uh, a poly filter mat like this what you're looking at that's poly filter I can make four of those out of a 12 by 12 mat so that round piece of poly filter you're looking at is ten dollars worth of poly filter right there so being that this is extremely expensive, uh, I wanted to see after 30 days if it would work. Now the only thing that's changed with my SCA Aquarium is this polyfilter replaces the cheap and expensive carbon I use. I use uh, carbon that costs $8 for 28 ounces of it. And I wanted to see if uh, you took 28 ounces of it, that'd be what, 14 ounces per month. Uh, you could just throw the carbon away after 30 days. And I wanted to see if this 10 bucks worth of polyfilter would outbeat $4 worth of Penplax carbon. Okay? And 30-day trial period, because that's when I do my next water change. So I set everything up. I did a video showing you how I set it up. The only difference, remember... And this test was polyfilter was added, carbon was replaced. The whole thing about this is it's only been 15 days and I had to stop the experiment. And that's terrible when you have to stop an experiment and you can't let it go the full length of time you wanted it to because the polyfilter was not doing what it was supposed to be doing and I had to stop it. So what I did is I did a complete water change of my aquarium when I first started the test and the sump and the TDS was 53 and that's about a 90 percent water change 53 54 as you can see that's my TDS so that's our starting point for TDS. So we're going to see if this poly filter that has all these claims of how great the polyfilter is if it is going to outperform carbon. In other words, the TDS shouldn't really rise. The redox should stay very high, TDS, and the turbidity of the water should stay a lot better than cheap carbon, right? We all agree to that, right? The TDS shouldn't go up, the redox should go up or stay the same, and the turbidity of the water should stay real nice and crystal clear. We all agree to that, right? This is extremely expensive stuff. Been around for 40 years. It has all these claims. It picks up the nasty, picks up toxins. Uh, all these reviews doesn't really say much. But here it is, 15 days. And as you can see, starting out 153 parts per million TDS. And after 15 days, it went up to over 209. We're not even done to the 30-day mark. And it's already up to 209. So apparently the polyfilter claims it takes out organics. But I guess it doesn't take out organics any better than plain old carbon. $4 carbon. And remember though, the polyfilter though, and I'm going to quote you, the world's best mechanical and chemical filter. Quote, end quote. That's what polyfilter says. The world's best. Mechanical. Well, I can understand because it's nothing but a, a filter floss mat. Like I'm using. Mine's one inch thick. It's heavy duty. So it's a filter fat. But chemical? You notice one thing that they don't tell you? How long will it last? You know, this thing's been around for 40 years. You notice it doesn't say how long it will last. 
Well, in other words, this filter, poly filter, as we can see in 15 days, the TDS was rising every single day. Okay, it wasn't stabilizing, it kept rising. And we still have another 15 more days of experiment left to go. But I pulled the plug on it. Because not only did the TDS rise, but the turbidity of the water was suffering. And you test the turbidity of water by testing it with depth. Okay, that's how you test it. But it was turning yellow and didn't look good. So I pulled the whole pre-filter out and thought, i got to take a look at this polyfilter and find out what's going on with this thing. Why is the water suffering? And there it is. So it's all dirty. Now I know some people are going to say, well, I should have had a better pre-filter. Yeah, but the polyfilter doesn't say that. It says mechanical and chemical filter. Look at it. And how I knew is because this thing was clogging up so bad that my pre-filter was overflowing, which means it's time to replace the medium that's in the canister here, this 2215 Eheim. Not just the pre-filter that I use, that I replace every two or three days on top. So this started clogging up and water wouldn't flow through it very easily. Okay, it acted like a mechanical filter. But how many people really use these poly filters and have a micron pre-filter? And look at the fish tank here. You've seen my videos. Does that look crystal clear to you? Huh? Does it look kind of hazy, foggy? Well, actually, it's tinted um, yellowish, yellowish brown color. Almost like you weren't using carbon. And what's going on here? Well, then when I looked at my goldfish aquarium that has carbon in it, that's over two and a half months old, it the turbidity of that tank was crystal clear compared to this tank. And this is 15 days. I'm wondering, well, what's going on here? I thought this was such great material. Look at this. Does this look clear to you? Does that tank look crystal clear? That's 24 inches deep. It is not crystal clear. The video really wouldn't come out with the tinted color it was, but to me, it was exhausted. The polyfilter now was exhausted. Where if I was using carbon, the carbon wouldn't have been exhausted after 15 days. But look at the polyfilter, it's done. Another thing I noticed with the polyfilter, it uh, the tank just didn't look not only as crystal clear, as it always does, but I didn't have to worry about, of course, nitrates and phosphates. So you can't say, well, it filled up with nitrates and phosphates. Here, right there, are the biosynthesis clarification baskets in the sump, and they're taking care of the nitrates and phosphates. So I didn't have to worry about the polyfilter absorbing any of that. I want to see what other toxins it will absorb compared to that of carbon. Well, I wasn't impressed with anything that it was doing because it was failing after 15 days. So I paid $10 for a little filter mat that lasted no longer than 15 days. Actually, it started failing even before that. Remember, it's just a chemically treated filter mat. That's all it is. It's been chemically treated. And they're charging full retail price is 42 bucks for a 12 by 12 sheet you know and it costs them about a dollar to manufacture so they got a profit margin of thousands and thousands of percent on this case when people use this are they testing it out like i did and giving it a good 30 days to see what it's really doing for their tank is it keeping their redox high. My redox started dropping, so it wasn't keeping the redox up. As you can see, my TDS was going up and up and up, and it claims it's supposed to take out some organics. Well, I don't know. I don't see the organics, as you saw, that the TDS kept rising. 
I change my filter mat every two to three days. This white filter mat you're seeing here, I change it every two to three days like I'm supposed to. I know some people are going to say, well, you should have used a, a tighter filter mat. Maybe the poly filter would have not collected any detritus or, or smut or algae or anything else in it. But people are saying they put this on hang on the back filters. Well, you don't have micron filters filtering your water. Even a canister filter doesn't have micron filters filtering the water. It may have a matrix of different materials to pick up large materials until it comes to the very small material. And I would always use a filter mat like this white one you see here at the very last after the carbon to make sure it would kind of polish the water. But being that this is gravity fed, uh, the green canister here would start overflowing water, which means that polyfilter was now all clogged up and being brown like that. So the only thing I can say about this whole experiment that only lasted 15 days, and I had to stop it because the tank started looking worse and worse and worse, is what toxins did it really pick up? Okay, did I notice anything? Well, I imagine maybe short term, if you use chemical and you need to pull the chemical out, but if that's the case, you could just use carbon. You could just buy carbon like I do and, and save yourself a ton of money than a $10 piece of filter mat there. That's $10 worth of filter mat. That's too expensive to me. So in this case, with me experimenting with this, I would have to say it's the Emperor's New Clothes. It's something that will give you a false sense of security that you're doing something right when in turn it maybe has now chemically become saturated with whatever it was supposed to do and will only last maybe a week or two and then that's it. And for 10 bucks, it's not worth it to me. I don't want to buy something that costs $10. It's only going to do maybe a week or two's worth of work. It's just too expensive. But these are the claims that are being made. Now, hobbyists do convince themselves that sometimes products work better than what they really do. I'm an audiophile. I see this all the time with audio equipment. We had a fellow buy a piece of equipment. It was supposed to enhance your stereo, and he had 30 days to listen to it and take it back. And they like to trick people like, oh, yeah, it would work real good if you listen to it on your stereo. Well, we listened to it on my stereo, and finally the president of the uh, uh, audio society looked at the guy and said, I take it back. It's the emperor's new clothes. It's not doing anything. In this case, I would have to say this is the emperor's new clothes. If you think this is going to be long-term, this dirty, filthy mat here is going to give your tank any long-term protection, I wouldn't count on it. I would rather stick with plain old carbon that's considerably cheaper than using an expensive filter mat. That's $10 worth of filter mat right there. And it didn't even make it 15 days. That's what I show. I'm just calling it the way I see it. I'd like an umpire here. I call it the way I see it, people. It's the Emperor's New Clothes. It didn't work for me. If it works for you, leave a comment that it works great. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, this is Dr. Kevin Novak. See you then.